Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. Recently, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones indexes have all increased to set new records recently. On top of that, we also saw that Chipotle hit a new all-time high off of the news that they have officially approved a 50 for 1 stock split, and this is going to make their share price more accessible to investors, considering that right now it's trading at around $2,895 per share. So this share price will be divided by 50, and remember, this will not increase the value of your investment, but rather just how many shares you own of Chipotle stock. But the company that I really want to talk about right now is Reddit. Reddit is a very popular social media company, and as of right now, you can officially buy Reddit stock under ticker symbol RDDT, which trades on the New York Stock Exchange. The company is selling 22 million shares, priced originally at $34 each, to where Reddit had a valuation of $6.4 billion. However, there is a catch to this. Many people who use Reddit have actually passed on the opportunity to buy into this IPO. According to this report, the 15 million member Wall Street Bets subreddit, which briefly turned GameStop to gold back in 2021, is filled with talks of people shorting Reddit. That means that these investors are going to bet that the RDDT share price is going to drop and that's how they're going to make money from this. They essentially want to watch the share price quote unquote absolutely plummet, but it seems that the market had different ideas. Because originally, the stock was trading at around $34 per share, and then it jumped to $47 per share to then settle at around $53 at one point. As of right now, it's hovering at around $50.30, meaning that it jumped by 48.35% in a very short amount of time. And if you recall from our last video, we went over three potential scenarios, and it looks like one of our scenarios actually came true, and that means you should know what's coming up next. Essentially, for this particular scenario, I said that the original share price would surge and then after a while it is going to plummet very aggressively which is exactly what people on the Wall Street Bets subreddit are planning on. You should also know that this company right now is not profitable so their valuation is pretty lofty. However Reddit is looking forward to diversifying their revenue streams because normally they make their revenues from ads on their platform. But more recently Reddit is going to be allowing companies to train their AI models on user-generated content, and they also signed a $60 million per year data licensing contract with Google. However, there is a small problem here because the FTC is actually probing this deal right now, so we're going to have to continuously follow along with this story. Overall, I really like how Reddit is going to be diversifying their revenue streams, but as of right now, brace yourself for some major volatility in their share price. But overall, I am glad that they are now a publicly traded company, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about Reddit down below in the comments. For business business news, you should know that Neuralink, which is Elon Musk's brain implant company, recently posted a video on X, which is formerly known as Twitter, of its first human user showing off what their device can do. As of right now, Neuralink is not a publicly traded company, so you can't buy stock in it on the public stock market. However, sometimes this news actually acts as a positive catalyst for other companies which are publicly traded that are also owned by Elon Musk, such as Tesla. But now let's talk about a company which is traded on the public stock market, and that would be Boeing, and their ticker symbol is BA, which I personally hold in my portfolio. Recently, Boeing has warned investors that it's looking for a big loss in quarter one as it struggles with the continued fallout from a door plug coming off of a plane mid-flight, which happened back in January. This clearly is going to cause the share price to drop even further, which in my opinion gives investors an amazing buying opportunity because fundamentally Boeing is a very strong company, but always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. But overall, I do want to let you know that I personally hold Boeing in my portfolio. Next up, let's talk about an AI company named Broadcom, ticker symbol AVGO, which I also hold in my portfolio. The reason why Broadcom's share price is surging right now is because the company gained a new AI chip customer, and this has invigorated and excited investors. 
However, there has been two other catalysts which has increased their overall share price. And the first one was that they recently held an event titled Enabling AI Infrastructure. This investors meeting actually went over their new switch and networking chip technologies which are optimized for data centers. And specifically, data centers who are running artificial intelligence applications. So this is great news. But on top of this investor meeting and this new product, what investors are really excited about is their new customer. Now, the interesting thing about this is that Broadcom never actually told investors who the new customer was. Instead, they just said that this customer makes application-specific integrated circuits, also known as ASICs. However, this has not stopped investors or Wall Street analysts from making educated guesses on who this major technology company could be in regards to Broadcom's new customer. First, you should know that Broadcom already serves ASIC customers, which would include Alphabet and Meta platforms. But a truest securities analyst did come along to say that he believes this third AI ASIC customer could either be Amazon or Apple. He even says, and I quote, Management characterized this as a consumer as opposed to an enterprise AI customer. He goes on to say, Considering such an engagement requires a substantial size and likely a history of custom silicon, we surmise the customer is either Amazon or possibly Apple. However, our conviction on this matter is only moderate. End quote. Either way, Broadcom is sitting pretty right now, considering that they have a buy rating from this analyst and a price target of $1,566 per share, which is a pretty hefty payday for this company. You should also be aware that Kathy Wood of ARK Invest has also made major purchases in Broadcom recently, which we covered in a previous video. So overall, I would love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about Nike, which is a sports apparel company, ticker symbol NKE. Nike edged higher in their share price after releasing solid quarter three earnings results, and this would be in regards to both their EPS as well as their impressive margins. As an example, their gross margin increased by 150 basis points, and this means this metric jumped from 44.8% all the way to 45.1%, and this is rather good, even though it doesn't seem like a huge increase, this is still very positive news for this apparel maker. Meanwhile, the net income for the apparel giant was down 5% year over year to 1.2 billion, but fret not because their EPS did impress investors. Analysts thought the company was going to bring in 75 cents per share for their EPS, but they actually brought in 98 cents per share, which was a very impressive earnings beat. Their CEO was even encouraged by these results to where he says this, and I quote, we are encouraged by the progress we've seen as we build a multi-year cycle of new innovation, sharpen our brand storytelling, and work with our wholesale partners to elevate and grow the marketplace." End quote. Overall, this is very good news for Nike, and they're currently trading for around $101.66. And for me personally, I do like this company overall, and I would love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. But now let's talk about another company which wasn't so lucky in their share price, and that would be none other than Soundhound AI, whose share price has crashed recently. So let's get into it, and I'll tell you why. Soundhound AI, ticker symbol S-O-U-N, is anticipated to be a very innovative voice recognition technology company, but so far, investors are not impressed. Recently, shares of this company literally plummeted by 13.6%. And the reason why this company's share price dropped so dramatically is for two reasons. The first is that a a short report recently came out about this company, and the second reason was they experienced a double downgrade by a Wall Street analyst. So let's talk about both of these negative catalysts. If you didn't know, a short report is essentially like a hit piece on a company telling investors why this company is a terrible investment. And recently, a short report was issued by Capybara Research. This company suggests that Soundhound AI is a, quote, failing company peddling lies and deception, end quote. And they give a price target for this company that is as low as $1. Clearly, this has scared investors, which is why people are taking their money out of this company, causing the share price to drop aggressively. And that's why this short report was successful from a Capybara Research. The problem with short reports is that we don't actually know if what was in the short report is actually valid or not. So that's why investors always need to make sure to do their own research into stories like these. The short report even went on to state that Soundhound's voice recognition technology is a commodity service that isn't even superior to other comparable products by Amazon and Apple in regards to Alexa or Siri. However, this is not really what did it in for the company because it got even worse due to an analyst's double downgrade of this company's share price. 
Essentially, this analyst lowered their price target on this company, and they also lowered their overall rating for this company, thus indicating a double downgrade. Investors really don't like double downgrades, but despite this, analysts at Cantor Fitzgerald recently decreased their rating on this company and gave them a very low price target, so let's talk about it. These analysts lowered SoundHound AI's buy rating to a sell rating, and this in it of itself is pretty catastrophic, but it gets even worse. The reason it gets worse is because the price target is now $4.90, implying a 38% downside from the company's current share price. So overall, this was a double whammy. According to the analysts, they said that the company's share price just cannot be justified according to their current market valuation. The analysts highlight how SoundHound's operating model, slowing growth, customer losses, and increasing competition is reflecting negatively on this company. Now you should know, to start out, SoundHound AI is a particularly risky stock with no profits and a relatively high valuation. But even with that being said, investors should not necessarily make investment decisions based off of analysts' opinions or short reports. Now overall, this has been a very negative news update, but I do want to slide in here that NVIDIA recently invested into SoundHound AI. So something must be going right for this company in some regards, or NVIDIA just made a terrible investment. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this story down below. Next, let's move on to MicroStrategy, because their chairman recently sold 5,000 shares worth $7.3 million, and some investors are freaking out. However, I am here to calm your nerves, because MicroStrategy, ticker symbol MSTR, is still fundamentally pretty solid. Essentially, what I'm telling you is that this company's chairman is selling because he wants money, and not because anything is wrong with the company. You should also know that the selling of these shares were determined months in advance. This is because the chairman was operating under Rule 10b-5-1 trading, and essentially, this allows insiders to plan out months in advance when they will sell their shares. Therefore, investors should not be worried about this, and anyone who says otherwise really doesn't know what they're talking about here. Next up, let's talk about Intel stock, which is going to be a phenomenal artificial intelligence play according to this analyst. So let's see what he has to say. Intel, ticker symbol INTC, is already on investors' radars because recently the Wall Street Journal reported that the U.S. Commerce Department awarded Intel $8.5 billion in subsidies. These subsidies help manage the cost of expanding semiconductor production in Arizona, New Mexico, Ohio, and Oregon. But the news gets even better, because a research analyst is looking at the news very positively, and he also increased his price target for Intel stock to $100 per share. To put this into perspective, Intel, ticker symbol INTC, is currently trading for just around $42 as of right now. However, in my opinion, this price prediction may be too bullish, because this would require the company to double in their share price over the next next 12 months. But there might be more to this, because according to the analyst, he says that Intel is the only company today that can build the kind of power-efficient next-generation 18A and 14A artificial intelligence processors needed to keep the AI revolution going. Now, he does mention how other companies like AMD and Taiwan Semiconductor are also exploring these types of chips, however, Intel appears to be the leader here, and this is great news for Intel investors. Now, you should be aware of one final problem, because a $100 share price is a very aggressive considering that the company only brought in 40 cents per share worth of earnings last year, implying a trailing P.E. ratio of 250. Therefore, I would highly encourage you to do your own research before you make any investment decision, and if you're wondering, yes, I do own Intel in my personal portfolio, so I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. Lastly, let's talk about Lululemon Athletica, which recently fell after they released earnings. The company's ticker symbol is LULU, and historically, this company has been a phenomenal investment for me personally. I was actually somewhat underwhelmed, and I think the market is actually acting irrationally right now because people are selling this company due to the future guidance of this company and not what they actually brought in in regards to their report. So here's what I mean. The sales of this company were up 12%, which did meet Wall Street expectations. On top of that, their gross margins jumped from a year ago of 55.1% up to 59.4%. Again, this is good news. More good news is that Lululemon opened 25 new company operating stores during the quarter to end with a total store count of 711. Again, all of this is good news, so why is their share price falling? Even their CFO says, and I quote, our solid fourth quarter and full year 2023 results demonstrated the strength and resilience of our Omni operating model and our differentiated position in the marketplace. He goes on to say, 
Looking ahead, we will stay focused on driving the business forward for the near term and a long term, while operating with agility and discipline. We are still early in our growth journey and excited for what the future holds, end quote. So again, this is just more good news. But here's where the problem actually is, because the company expects their quarter one revenue to be in the range of 2.18 billion and 2.2 billion versus the consensus of 2.26 billion. Therefore, these estimates were lower than Wall Street expectations. Likewise, the full year revenue is anticipated to come in between $10.7 billion and $10.8 billion, which is below Wall Street estimates of $11 billion. However, the company believes their EPS could be between $14 or $15.20 each. But despite this news, the company still dropped by around 5.91%. So despite all of this, I do think that investors are acting irrationally, so I would love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.